folks. Hey guys, I haven't done this in a little while, so I'm probably going to finish really fast. <laughs> a few weeks ago, I, I was in New Orleans, and um, I was on a ghost hunt. And I'm really excited because uh, God's a little daunting, and I need to believe in something. So ghosts. And, and I think I saw one. Um, this house was haunted by um, a a ten year old slave girl named Chloe. She died in 1840, evidently. And uh, the ghost hunter I was with um, gave me a, a divine arts it's a piece of metal. And um, she said, Chloe likes to communicate through the divining rod. Point to something, or uh, say something, and uh, Chloe will point to it with the rod. So I said, uh, Chloe, point to the fireplace. I swear to God, the uh, divining rod was pulling. Something pulled it, it pointed to the fire, uh, fireplace, and it stayed there. I said, uh, Chloe, point to the mirror, and it pointed to the mirror. I said, Chloe, point to the chair, and it pointed to the chair. I was not controlling it, I mean, maybe I was subconsciously, I don't know, but, but this was like the greatest thing that ever happened to me. I, I did it for like 20 minutes until I realized I'm telling the slave what to do. <laughs> and if this is actually a haunted house, then I'm the monster. <laughs> Guys, I was in New Orleans uh, for my birthday. I, I, I turned 50. Right? Yeah. Um, and and everybody, uh, everybody asked me, uh, how do you stay so old? <laughs> um, and it's really easy. It's, it's a Fox News. <laughs> um, I, uh, I am uh, going to the gym. I'm trying to get in shape. Uh, I'm going to the gym three times a week. And... Um, I'm trying to get a granddad bod. Which is a lot like a dad bod, but a little racist. It's a bod from another era. Um, but 50 is a lot more exciting, I think, um, mainly because of my stomach. Um, now, after every meal, my intestines feel like a, like a paper bag. It's filled with groceries. And it's raining. <laughs> right? And the bottom of the bag's getting a little damp. Am I going to make it home in time? <laughs> and by home, I mean any bathroom because that's where I live. <laughs> um, I, I do feel as if I, uh, as if I haven't achieved enough in my life. And it's not because I'm lazy. Uh, in fact, as a, uh, as a college-educated white male, I've, I've actually had to work very hard to be a failure. Um, <laughs> but uh, I do procrastinate, and, and I know everybody does. I, I mean, uh, who hasn't, uh, you know, hit the snooze one too many times and woken up to realize they've wasted their life? <laughs> Or, uh, you know, whose bucket list isn't just a bunch of errands? <laughs> Everybody, right? Um, I'm, I'm not a total failure, though. I'm, I'm actually very lucky in relationships. Uh, in fact, I, I told you on a vacation, um, my girlfriend got upgraded and I didn't. Which means that even Delta knows she's out of my league. <laughs> uh, she's not perfect, though. Uh, for example, she's Russian, uh, and she does Russian things like um, destroy our democracy with social media, um, or or serve old wine to guests. And uh, I mean, I'm not talking vintage unless um, last year was a great year for open wine in the back of the fridge. Uh, but ultimately, it didn't matter because the guests were Russian too. And when they finished the old wine, they sent me out for anything. Um, and worse yet, uh, she's Israeli. Uh, now, I don't speak a lot of Hebrew, 
but I, I don't think that there's a Hebrew word for polite. <laughs> um, and I'll give you an example. Uh, early in our relationship, uh, we, uh, we were in a grocery store. We were waiting in line and, uh, and we forgot something. So she said, I'll go get it, I'll be right back. Um, and she comes back 10 minutes later and yells at me for getting out of the line. I said, well, we were holding up everybody. She says, it doesn't matter. We were here first. And now I think I understand the geopolitical situation in that region a little bit better. Um, when I... Uh, when I read about all the uh, CEOs, thanks, um, who are uh, who are sociopaths, it it does make me wish I had a better social disorder. <laughs> um, instead of what I do have, uh, guys, I'm a serial monogamist, which is a lot like a serial killer, but way slower. <laughs> Um, and on that note, uh, let's all play a drinking game tonight. Let's uh, let's skip the State of the Union and drink. And uh, you've been awesome. Good night. Okay.